We'll have some important decisions to make today. They're going to decide on the structure of the government of the town and just how powerful the mayor's position is. Plus, potentially millions of dollars for libraries and parks. A lot of contentious issues up there in Flower Town. And News 2's Colby Thielen is live for us at beautiful Savior Lutheran Church in Somerville, where some of those votes will be cast later today. Colby, good morning. Hey, good morning, Brad. Now, we've been standing out here for a little bit and already so many cars turning in, people coming to work the polls. As you can imagine, they know how important this election is, not just for political positions, but also for those issues facing the people here in Somerville. And this is one of those issues. This is actually a sign in a long line of signs out here in front of beautiful Savior Church. And it's talking about, of course, this one's the issue of the mayor. But this is just one of two major issues that's going to be on the ballot. Each of them have seen a lot of debate over the last few months. And one of them may even be facing some legal challenges. But that first issue, the issue of the mayor, that deals with the town of Somerville directly. Citizens will be voting on the power of the mayor. And right now, the town's government is run by a strong council, meaning that they're in charge of making policy and carrying it out. Mayor Wiley Johnson says that he's only a member of council, and that's about it. He hopes voters will give him more power in his role. But those opposed say government is better without centralized power, and the mayor still has the power of the bully pulpit. Now, they'll also be voting on an issue that pertains to all of Dorchester County, a referendum known as quality of life. Citizens would vote to allocate $30 million to libraries and 13 to local parks. But there are many opposed to the referendum saying that it's unconstitutional to combine different issues on the same referendum and citizens should vote on them separately. Several groups are even bringing a lawsuit forward. Now the council would defend it saying that they can go together on the same referendum because both benefit our children. And there are those who fear that a lawsuit could mean that those funds are tied up even if the vote is yes. But again, none of that really matters depending on the outcome of today's vote. In Somerville, Colby Thielen, News 2. Thank you.